Okay, I lied. This is the last stop on the Griff House room tour. My room. Yeah, but we've seen this like a billion times already. True, but you have yet to see it in its full capacity as a necessary component of a complete Griff House room tour. So yes, the room tour is now officially over. Thank goodness. I no longer have to lug my boat of a laptop all over creation, no longer have to wedge myself into closets, or video blog in the stifling heat of the garage, or commandeer a bathroom for a reason entirely dissimilar from the normal reasons for commandeering a bathroom. If you, for some unknown reason, actually enjoyed this, I was thinking about doing a little breaking and entering and doing a room tour of someone else's house. Tell me what you think of that idea, and if you want your house to be entered into the pool of houses I could possibly break into, let me know in the comments. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's July 16, the 197th day of 2011, which means that 76 years ago today, the first parking meter was installed in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. You see, the officials of OK City realize that people are only financially stimulating the world with their vehicles when they are, in fact, in motion. People have to pay to keep their car moving, so why shouldn't people also have to pay for keeping their car stationary? Hence the parking meter came to be, a soulless metal stock of pure evil and money grubbership. Much like how there are probably pockets on the clothes you're wearing right now, unless you watch my show Naked, which is a completely understandable situation, the city also has pockets, and those pockets are parking meters. Although the difference between your pockets and the city's pockets, the city has considerably more pockets than your clothing does, unless you're Rubius Hagrid, and your pockets probably don't require a sledgehammer to be picked. Also, I'm just guessing that your pockets hold your money, whereas the city's pockets hold thousands of different people's money. Honestly, I wouldn't have such a problem with parking meters if they just got rid of some of the less tolerable rules. First of all, why do parking meters need time limits? I think that as long as I'm shelling out money, I'm allowed to stay put. Oh, but you see, that's just so other people have a chance to park there. Look, I highly doubt that someone who sees an occupied parking space is going to think, well, I'll be back in two hours then. It just doesn't work that way. Plus, you can't charge people for being stationary and then also act like you're taking their feelings into account. You can't have your anti-citizenry and eat it too. Also, if a parking meter is out of order, it becomes a no parking zone. Tell me, city, why should I have to pay for your crappy parking meters? It should become a park for free space. And I think if someone just happens to be parked there when the meter gets fixed, that the repairer should put a little certified slip onto the car's windshield. I guess all of this just falls under the jurisdiction of the proverbial man. Well, I'll tell you what, city. I don't answer to the man. And I'll tell you what, man. Your parking meters suck. Please note, I could have talked about the world's first atomic bomb testing today, but no. I talked about parking meters. Have fun with that. Until tomorrow, he's Griff, and he's still talking. I like pickles.